Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to focus on key insights of integration service introduction. I am going to talk on and highlight the important points from the documentation of UiPath on introduction of integration service. So let's get started and highlight those important points which could help you to prepare for your exam. Let's get started. On your browser, simply type UiPath integration service docs and you would find the link from UiPath docs.uipath.com integration service. Now I'm going to highlight, I have already highlighted a couple of important points from the introduction of integration service. And I'm going to talk on that. Okay, very important. Okay, let's get started. Integration service user guide introduction. This particular paragraph is very important. For example, if I frame a question, what is UiPath integration service and what are the below points stance right related to integration service? So what are the characteristics of integration service? Right? So here, look at it. UiPath integration service is the component of UiPath platform. I'll slightly enlarge this. Okay. Component of UiPath platform that makes the automation of third party application. So this is highlighted automation of third party applications much easier by standardizing authorization and authentication. We have seen in integration service how you can connect a third party connector helping you manage api connection and also allowing faster integration into saas platform so these are the couple of keywords if you remember automation of third party application standardizing standardizing authorization and authentication we have gone through oauth and all those things helping you manage api connections that we have seen in the connection tab and faster integration into SaaS platform. Okay, so these are the important points from this paragraph. Moving on to our next important points. In a nutshell, integration service does the following. If I'm going to create a question, which are the characteristics of integration service or what is the integration service? Select the followings. So these highlighted points are important for your preparation. So for example, the first one enables automation with an out of box library of connectors. So you have seen in the previous set of videos that I've created connector is the tab which has library of out of box library of multiple connectors of third party applications. Okay. So this word is important or in any other words. So remember it is a library of or collection of different third party application connections or connectors helps setting up and managing connections easily with standardized standardized authentication i have shown you if you go to the connection tab you know how you built a connection i have shown through oauth which is a standard standardized form of authentication and authorization okay so you have seen that so that is the point it is talking about Third point enables kicking off automation with server side trigger or events. This also I have demonstrated in the trigger tab. How can you create a event from the server side? Something happening on the server. For example, file getting created on one drive. So this is a server side event. Based on that, you can start a trigger. So if you have understanding, whatever words or how it is written doesn't matter. You have an understanding, you can answer it. So kicking off automation with server side triggers or events provides curated activities and events with additional data filters for ease of use. So I have shown you in UiPath Studio, how can you create activities and utilize it for your third party application automation. And also I have shown you how do you apply data filters? This example videos I have created. So that is the point it is talking about. So we have got entire understanding through our demo videos 
and now we are highlighting the important points so that we are fully prepared for the exam simplifies automation design okay that is the main purpose simplifying automation design by providing uniform experience across all studio designers so it simplifies it saves a lot of time when you go for a ui path integration service so these are the important points this one the three components of integration service if i ask you what are the components of integration service that means you must think of this three you must think of this three tabs what are the components of integration service connector is one component connection is one component trigger is one component i mean the functional areas of integration service is three connectors connections and triggers okay very good now connector if a question is framed what is a connector select the right answer select the right option connector integration service comes with a large and growing catalog of popular pre-built connectors so what is connector connector you can say in different different words it's a library of connectors it is a out of box collection of different connectors whatever you call the meaning is same okay or a growing catalog of popular pre-built connectors okay all these words are important now remember this important one each third party application connector comes with a dedicated set of activities we have seen in our video demo for service now we had set of activities for onedrive we had different set of activities the activity package helps you to reduce the process development effort this native integration allows robots seamlessly communicate directly with the third party system okay so your process of development goes down and it directly communicates with the third party system so what happens by that your automation runs a lot faster and less maintenance is required so i have highlighted important points for this particular paragraph okay now let's move on connections in the connection once you have set up a connection so your status called connected or successful right it is connected so if it is connected it means what if the connection started indicate success it means that the connection are functional okay uh, with the introduction of folder awareness within the integration service connections are now created within the folder following the orchestrator folder structure that is we have seen as per the folder structure that you have in orchestrator same thing gets carried to ui path integration service and you are creating connections under a particular folder for example in this folder i have a connection if i go to a different folder i don't have it so this connections are created under a folder so that gives you control over who should gain it if i am giving access to certain people into my it department project folder that means only those people will be able to use my connection i have built for under this project okay remember that it gives you better granularity of control you can also make the connection accessible for both attended and unattended user groups and robots you can make the connection accessible you can make them accessible for both attended and unattended users groups and robots okay important point now when it comes to trigger so what is a trigger if i ask you a question triggers provide a mechanism for subscribing to specific events okay subscribing to specific events is the keyword from the third party applications giving you the flexibility to automatically start process and orchestrate we have seen this example in our previous demo so if you have gone through the demo now this uh, you know having to remember this points is a easy work for you you can easily remember because you have seen the demos of it okay so i believe these are the important points go through the documentation whatever you feel are important you can still mark it i felt these are the important points that one should know from this particular page next we, we will again get into the second tab called connectors tab and we are going to highlight the important points if this video has helped you do not do not forget to 
like this content and do share it with your friends thank you for watching this video let's move on to our next topic